بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائے اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کنفیگر سبسکرپشن اینڈ ڈیٹا الرٹس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ اینڈ مینیج ورک اسپیسز اینڈ ایسٹس ویل ورکنگ ان دا پاور بی آئی ورک اسپیس ان پاور بی آئی سروس you have the option to configure subscriptions for your reports and dashboards and scorecards we haven't really touched upon the scorecard as yet which we are going to do in another video but the process of creating a subscription is almost the same for reports dashboards and scorecards then there is also an option to create data alerts but this option is only available for specific tiles in the dashboard so let's go to the power bi service and see how we can configure these subscriptions so i am back in the power bi service and i am again exploring my workspace that we created and used in some of the other uh, videos so i am going to go in my report here and once i open this report then there is this option which says subscribe to report so this is the option that we can use to subscribe to this report so let me just click on this option and this opens a new window which says subscriptions and says keep track of your data by subscribing to this report so currently i do not have any subscriptions so i will have to create a new subscription and this is the menu that opens for the subscription so i can give a name to my subscription i can add the recipients of uh, the, this particular subscription so by default obviously this is going to have my uh, email address then there is the option to attach full report and if i go inside here it says that this option is only available for power bi premium so here you can not uh, attach it to a pdf or a, or a microsoft powerpoint but only you are going to get it on the on the email then you can schedule a time uh, for getting this subscription so there is the option to give a start time and also to give a end date so the start date would mean that here from here onwards you're going to get the notifications on your email and this is the end date where these uh, notifications would end then there is the frequency that you are uh, you when when do you want to get a subscription so, so you can set it on an hourly basis up to a monthly basis and even also for the data refresh once it takes place but this has to be just once daily then the time and the time zone for uh, basically scheduling of uh, this uh, particular uh, subscription or the time when this uh, subscription actually activates and then you can also put an email subject and email message and uh, f- and figure out what report page you actually actually want to be a part of this particular subscription so this is uh, you know these are some of the options that you can configure then uh, you can also uh, configure to re- per- uh, allow permissions to review the report in power bi link to the report in power bi and the report page preview so all these options are selectable and you can either enable or disable this particular option so once you have configured this then you can just go and save this particular subscription and then you are going to get the uh, the the updates in on your on your email similar to the report you also have the option to subscribe to a dashboard so now i have opened the dashboard that we created in one of the previous videos and here you can see that the option seems similar to what we just saw in the report so again here you have the same kind of options that we just saw for the report and the same thing obviously goes for the the scorecard there are slight differences based based upon some of the options for the report so for example in the report you have the option to uh, select a report page but in the in the dashboard there are no pages so it is just a one page that uh, is there so you can always uh, look for the very very minor things the the overall uh, layout or the overall way of configuring the the whole uh, the subscription is 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 the same in case of a report or a dashboard and even for a scorecard so we are going to explore the source scorecard in another video so this was about the subscription which you can do in the report and dashboard then there is another feature which is related to data alerts and that feature is only available in a dashboard and that too only available for us few select visual so either you have a, a 
कार्ड विजुअल और आ के पी आई विजुअल और आ गेज विजुअल सो ओनली दीज थ्री विजुअल सपोर्ट दिस फंक्शनैलिटी सो इफ आई कम हेयर एंड क्लिक हेयर ऑन दीज थ्री डॉट्स देन देर इज दिस ऑप्शन विच से इज मैनेज अलर्ट सो लेट मी जस्ट क्लिक हेयर ऑन मैनेज अलर्ट सो दिस इज द इंटरफेस दैट इज यूज टू क्रिएट द डेटा अलर्ट सो हेयर इट से इज एड अलर्ट रूल सो लेट मी जस्ट क्लिक हेयर ऑन एड अलर्ट रूल एंड हेयर आई कैन एक्टिवेट और डीएक्टिवेट दिस एंड देन it automatically has an option to create the title so the by default title is based upon the measure that is actually inside this particular card visual and then i can create a rule so here the rule is very very simple and you have to define a threshold value and if the condition is above or below that particular uh, threshold value then you are going to get a notification you can also set the maximum notification frequency so here it is giving the option at most every 24 hours so you can configure it at a daily basis or even for an hourly basis uh, that you know you want to actually have this kind of a notification and then other than the notification you also have the option to actually get an email in addition to the notification so this is how you can create an alert rule and based on the value so if the value exceeds this particular threshold then i am going to uh, get a notification and also i can get an email so this is how you can create a data alert and this facility is only available for the card visual the kpi and the metrics visual inside of a dashboard only so this can you you can only configure in a dashboard there are other ways to configure data alerts inside of power bi environment inside a report but that requires the power automate functionality where you actually create a trigger based action but this is beyond the scope of this particular section so this was all about the configuration of subscriptions and the data alerts inside of power bi so that's all for this video and i'll catch up with you in the next one